And we have some breaking news coming in. Uh, China's annual parliamentary meeting has been officially opened in Beijing and it's expected that national security legislation for Hong Kong will be discussed during the seven-day session. That's according to the Chinese state news agency Xinhua. The full proceedings officially start on Friday. Now let's go to Phoebe Kong. Uh, she has been following this story for us and joins us from Taiwan's capital, Taipei. Phoebe, do you have more details about this new law? As, as you mentioned, the Chinese state media just announced that um, the National People's Congress, which is a Chinese parliament, is going to discuss the um, a new set of national security legislation for Hong Kong. So um, according to the information we have and um, the uh, reports from the local media, um, they released um, the, some details of the legislation that um, the new law may prohibit uh, secession, um, foreign, interfer for, foreign interference, and uh, possibly um, terrorism. So um, these are some um, so-called loopholes in Beijing's eyes, which um, they consider to be uh, some disadvantage of this close during the uh, anti-government protests last year happening in Hong Kong. So they mm. aim to push for the new law to um, plug such loopholes. You mentioned uh, the anti-government uh, uh, protests uh, there. What exactly would this new law mean for Hong Kong and especially the democracy movement there? To be frank, this is um, indeed a bombshell for not for Hong Kong, um, but I'm sure for the international security, uh, the international community, because um, this is highly controversial, even more controversial um, than the extradition bill, like sparked the protest last year. So um, it's not only about the law itself, but also the procedure itself is very controversial because, um, according to the information we have, that Beijing is planning to enact such legislation by its own parliament, then um, they will probably probably uh, list the, uh, the, the, the new causes um, under the Hong Kong's mini constitution, which is the basic law. So um, in short, then the new legislation can be promulgated uh, automatically in Hong Kong without any scrutiny of the local legislature. Mm. So it, it will simply bypass the scrutiny of the local legislature. So um, in our view that this is going to spark a huge controversy in Hong Kong again. Uh, Phoebe, briefly, if you can, have there been any reactions to this in Hong Kong? Well, as long as um, the, uh, the, 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 new, the news spread around in Hong Kong society, people are very uh, concerned about the new legislation. They fear that this would be a further repression on the um, remaining like free speech and the freedom of expression because um, they are worried that the definition is not going to be clear and um, it can be a tool for the regime and the authority or the police to crack down on a political dissidents. Our correspondent Phoebe Kong reporting from Taipei. Thank you.